The main objective of our laboratory is to understand how information processing in the brain goes awry in neurological disorders, and to use that knowledge to devise or improve interventions to alleviate those disorders. So a focus of my lab is Parkinson's disease. So a Parkinson's patient has fairly severe tremor and bradykinesia, which is an inability to initiate movement or a slowness of movement. The brain can't command movement particularly well. So deep brain stimulation, if the electrode is in the right place and the stimulation is tuned just appropriately, is very effective at alleviating the symptoms of Parkinson's. But it often induces extra symptoms that aren't normally related with Parkinson's. These can be as obvious as ocular motor dysfunction or as subtle as paresthesias in the arm, which your arm feels like it's asleep. So the side effects associated with deep brain stimulation come from excitation of neural tissue that is beyond the neural tissue you're trying to stimulate. We don't exactly know where that border is. We don't know exactly what we're trying to do when we stick an electrode in someone's brain and pulse it. So if we could better understand the goal of deep brain stimulation at the neurofunctional level, we could better target where the stimulation should go, how much stimulation should be there, so that we could focus on just alleviating symptoms and cut out all of that extra stuff which is causing the side effects. If we can better understand how restoring normal information processing to the Parkinsonian brain alleviates Parkinsonian symptoms, we can apply that knowledge to devise better ways to restore normal information processing to other neurological disorders to alleviate their associated symptoms.